Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so first, Sofia, congratulations on your incredible job. I love the movie. I love your performance. It was incredible. Um, I'm really excited to watch the second part. What has been your experience of making this movie? And I saw videos on Comic Con that, that the people were very excited. It felt like a concert, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I thought I was back on tour. <laughs> were you expecting that? No, no, I've never experienced anything like that for a film. Working with Zack Snyder, making this incredible movie and wa watching how people are very expectant to watch it today here in Mexico and also on the 22nd on Netflix. I am, um, you know, I, it's, I feel like the luckiest person ever to have had that chance to be given. I had to pinch myself and I, I love Zach's work. Before I met him, I remember being such a big fan of Watchmen. Watchmen is my favorite of his, of his film, his cut also. <laughs> but um, I just feel so, so lucky, lucky to have ha been given my, my first leading role that he gave me that break and I just feel lucky that every single day on set was a joy. We had all so much fun. I had a lot of fun. I, it was just so, I don't know, it was incredible. And talking about Cora, what was like your key inspiration to, to, to make the character like your, your character? The inspiration to make her my character, just spend time with her. You know, I just, you know, I think that I, I tried to go, I wanted to go as deep as I possibly could and not just play a character that comes from, that, that is a badass. I wanted to, I wanted that badass to have substance. I wanted her to come from somewhere that is relatable, that people can um, understand, I suppose. And, and Zach gave me a story that I could do that with. He didn't give me something easy in a good way, which allowed me to make her, to humanize her. And we're very much mortals in the film. We're not superheroes. And, I'm like, I, I just wanted, I, I knew the rest of the movie was going to look magical and, 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 and mystical. And I wanted like everything about her to be as relatable as possible. What would you say was like the biggest challenge on, on you making, making Cora and in the movie? The biggest challenge was to, to part ways with her, I suppose. It's so funny because when you get into that cycle of getting deeper with a character, it's hard to let go at the end. You know, and I, I look forward to going back to her if that happens, knock on wood, but I just feel like that's that, that's, that's a tough part also, because you, you, you discover the intimacy of your character and you, you go there with the character and then once, once you find, especially when you're giving something that's complicated is that you've, once you have that true compassion for your character and understanding, it's hard to let it go, you know, because you want to you wanna figure some things out, you know, you want to nurture that character, but then you have to just set that limit, you know. I, I, I just hope that, you know, ultimately that she inspires people as much as she inspired me and that, uh, and that people in the process uh, are having a good time. Sophia, thank you very much. I really enjoyed the movie. I know everybody is going to enjoy the movie. I'm really excited to watch the second part. Hola, Beto Pasillas. This is Sofia Butella. And please remember to watch Rubble Moon on Netflix. <laughs>